Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jerry Ray Garage. I'm Davis, this is Tristan here. Today we're going to be, hopefully, getting this power plant 5.3 with a truck cam in his 2007 Tahoe here. We've been going over, you know, building this. We had to do some revisions, but we're finally ready to throw it in. Right, so that's the plan. We're gonna throw the manifolds on. We're gonna take the bumper off. Also, the kids are having a pool party next door, so you'll be hearing them. But yeah, so we're the plan is to actually take off the front bumper so we don't destroy it again. Yeah, like uh, we one more. Um, so we're working on that. Uh, we got the motor ready. Uh, we got the manifolds in my car that we can bolt up brand new ones. And uh, I don't even know what else. Should be pretty straightforward, yeah. Yeah, we're, yeah. So, you know, we're on a, a limited time crunch today. Kind of as always, but we got plans later today. My birthday party. So, we're just going to try and get this bolted in. Basically get as far as we can. Davis has already uh, had worked on getting the transmission lines out of the car. Uh, was that successful? Uh, need to grab those. We got the new lines here. So the old ones are out? No. Oh, okay. So I got new lines from GM here that we'll be uh, swapping in. I'll have to, this doesn't look right. Let's compare. At least this one doesn't look right. This one looks fine. It should be like the same like line like <clears throat> that. Well, we'll have to see. And I hope to God that we at least have the one that you cut. Yeah, let me see what the one that was cut. So it's the bottom line that is cut and it goes yeah so that's the right one i think the one that is broken is this one i hope to god because if we look at it it's the one that goes up not like we can't replace them later uh yeah. which we totally can hopefully you know we can get them replaced right now because there's more room with the engine out but with the uh cover off the transmission they're still pretty easy to get there's yeah. just a like a two bolt cover that uh, kind of hides those lines a little bit yeah i think this one is uh this line here uh -huh. i'll have to double check the fittings it actually might be the other one i'm looking at it uh yeah it's this one and this one isn't the one that's cut i don't think Fuck. let me see yeah it's a bottom one or no that is the right one I think so. I think Please. I think we got it right. This is the one that's cut, and this one's that looks to be the same as this. So at least we have the one that's cut, you know, replaced. And then we're probably gonna put a little bit more wire loom on some of these things. Yeah, this stuff is so old and brittle, it just cracks and breaks Basically, off. Basically, any GM car is gonna look like that with this age. Yep. Especially any Canadian car or any car that's been in the uh, Midwest where they have salt, it's just gonna do that. Yeah. Uh, so we'll clean up the harness i'll try to remove that line that's broken and then basically we'll just make room get the harness out of the way and try dropping her in yep. well also taking off the front bumper here yeah i want to work on that right now you can see we uh you know scuffed it up a little bit yep so we don't want to do that especially because we we kind of want to get as much distance forward as possible yeah I'm really dark um there you go that's so yeah right. anyways we want we want as much room as possible because pulling the motor out you know, that was doable, but it's got to go so far back that we really need more distance up forward. So we're going to try to remove the bumper and get as much room as possible. Yeah. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how much we get. Well, at least the gain from what it looks like, like that cooler is going to stay to the front. So yeah. maybe like a foot or maybe like 10 inches. So at the very least, we won't destroy my bumper anymore. But, you know, we'll see what we're able to get done here. Uh, hopefully we'll just be able to take the front bumper off and that'll be enough. But we're going to go ahead and start working and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, the transmission lines here took off these brackets. And then, guys, up here where the transmission lines connect, I disconnected the bottom one. There's a C-clip that needs to come out of there. It's kind of like a pretty common GM thing. So now it's going to pop out. All right. And there we go. So now I'm just going to pull it out through the uh, engine bay area and compare the lines. All right, Tristan, show us what you found so, so far. So, you know, they said remove the bumper. It'd be easier, they said. Right, well, I'm trying to remove the bumper. This is what I get. Yep. So every single the other one broke broke off too. Oh, yeah, we can get a we can get voice on there actually. Jesus. So what we need to do is we gotta get vices on this. Like, I can't even get that out of the socket. Like, oh, and, and the other one just snapped like right off. This one was actually like threading quite a bit and then just gave out. Dang. <sighs> well, we got the uh, transmission line out and compared it, and the one that is cut is the right one he bought. So you can see right there, we kind of messed that up. I did inspect the other line where this was cut at, and it looks fine. So we're going to try running it just with this new line. If we need to replace the other one, we will, obviously. But uh, yeah, <sighs> we are making progress. All right, guys, we're back. I'm just fighting the C-clip on the transmission lines, but that's just basically installed. 
Tristan just got the front bumper off. Now we're gonna work on getting this bash bar off because as you can see, like the bumper probably extended out just a bit farther past this even. So we've oh, gained yeah, quite a bit of room here. And then uh, the other two bolts broke. So All four bolts. So now bolts. they're stuck right in here. Nice. Yeah, and that one, I don't even see thread on it like that. God dang. Yeah, so this we're probably gonna have to spray with some PB blaster through like up here, you can actually access it. And we'll let that sit and then we'll get the vise on it. That is looking good. The C-clip is just really annoying to get on. I don't know what, what's going on with that, but Tristan's gonna work on getting that bumper bar off from there. We'll basically be able to just start putting this in. Just get the harness up and out of the way and get her in there. We'll have to fi find the uh, bell housing bolts, but it's probably not gonna be too hard to find. And Why? hopefully we'll finally have a motor today. All right, guys. Well, moment of truth, it hits that, but that's fine. We can damage that. And uh, this comes way closer than it was before. Like, imagine we were probably out like that far before. And hitting the bumper. Yeah, so it was really extending those chains to pull the motor out before, so. Yeah, we were afraid that the motor was gonna like, like swing forward when we did this, but you know, it, it kind of didn't because we, we didn't have it up enough. Yeah. But uh, so with this, there shouldn't be a problem with the slack and the chains. It should be good. Yeah, we have uh, all this chain here and if we need to, we can even add the hook that's on there to this to make it longer. But I think our best bet's probably, well, no, actually we do need the hook, I think, so we can like swivel the motor. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but yeah, we got the transmission line in. You can see it's routed all nice. And uh, I we discovered that it actually comes up to this auxiliary cooler and then back down up to where the radiator is going to be so that's uh, right here and then right there let's drop all our tools so apparent that that is why that uh that additional trans line that i bought didn't um didn't actually fit because it actually went from the auxiliary to cooler to the radiator so knowing that we didn't even know that existed yeah so that makes a lot more sense so yeah uh we're just if, at least we replace the damage line that's yeah, all we care about. yeah we're not gonna replace probably the other one unless we have to later down the road you know that's old news now yep we're all ready to uh start uh putting the motor in basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hood off we will start moving the motor in here get the harness out of the way we will need to probably while the motor's in here put the headers or sorry put the um motor manifolds. mounts on well motor mounts motor on mounts and manifolds yep and then lower it down onto it get it lined up with the uh, studs in the transmission. We might need to jack up the transmission and do some finagling there. We'll yeah. Pass that. Uh, good Good thing that this motor has like really nice um, guide pins because yeah. like, uh, uh, you know, if you haven't watched the previous video, we had a horrible time with the, uh, the guide pins being seized in the transmission. And that yeah. was what the only thing preventing us from getting the engine out you have that issue heat it up with the torch yep. um and they will come out yep. um they'll pop right out we had to do that on both sides so um oh also the other side of the bumper bolts those also broke off both of them <laughs> so that's good yep good old that's canadian car what you want what the hell oh, oh, yeah. um but yeah so we're gonna get the uh the hood off and start from there yeah get the hood really off. close we actually might need a mess take this transmission Dipstick, dipstick out. Maybe. Well, it's probably fine maybe right there. Maybe it was in there when we took it out. Yeah, we'll just need to get the seal in and then uh, trash bag out. Just get everything out of the way. Just make it as easy as possible to put the motor in.
All right, guys, we're back. Uh, left off with that time lapse. We got the motor in. So just took a combination of things and we'll explain in the garage once it's a bit quieter. But as you can see, motor mounts bolted up. Transmission, if you can see it bolted up. Maybe this will be a better view down here. You can see we got one of the bolts in, got all lined up. And uh, basically you're ready to start reassembling everything. Get all the, oh, get all the electronics connected accessories all that stuff but yeah. we're gonna go ahead and throw the hood back on clean up and uh we'll meet you back in the garage all right guys we're back we just came into the garage because it's a bit quieter i mean you could probably still hear them through the garage yep. door but they're having it's... a good pool party yep but anyways we uh finished up with getting the motor in tahoe that was a huge success it was good job i don't know how much of the, how long this video is actually going to be because we did mostly time lapsing because it was kind of loud out but yep took three hours yeah. We went from noon to 2.55 and uh, we got the motor fully in and bolts in it. It's yeah. not like all the bolts aren't in it, but we had it, a, enough. We had a problem mainly with like the transmission, so I'll just use this as an example. You can see the dowels there. Just lining up the transmission with the uh, that there. Problem is like once you get the motor mount where it needs to go, there's a big dowel. So kind of, the motor has to sit where it's going to be and then you have to position the transmission. Just leave both kind of loose and you have to finagle both sides, lift yes. one side, lower. Yeah, it's literally just a game of like lifting up the transmission, lowering the engine, lifting the engine, lowering the transmission to really get it at the perfect place. But what Davis had done is we got the motor mounts, like uh, just one bolt, just loosely threaded. And then he, he got in there and he lifted the engine from the, the front of the uh, engine. He literally stood in the engine bay, popped it right into where we needed it. Yep. So and that, that worked, was really helpful. Worked really well. And we were able to get everything bolted up. So that's all good. Uh, Tristan has some new parts here. So as you saw in the previous videos, or if you haven't, uh, we had to basically cut the downpipe off as well as just replace these manifolds because they were old, rusty, um, yeah, just real dumpers, like yeah, freaking didn't, rusty. Didn't have to at least replace the manifolds, but uh, they're cheap enough that I just wanted to do it. I mean, well, we would have to extract the the studs. True, true. That were in there. So yeah, it wasn't worth it um, because I mean they're like fifty bucks a side. Yeah, they're pretty cheap. And then he got a nice new. Uh, it's like from Rock Auto Walker brand. Uh, y pipe has yeah. cats on them. Pretty yep. cheap. Whole so. new Y pipe for one hundred and eighty bucks. I was surprised how cheap that was. Yeah, for two cats too. So yep. like that's kind of surprising. Um, so we got almost a full new exhaust, you know, at least to the cats and, uh, that's all going to be new. I I'm excited for that. Um, cause I bet like, especially with all the, the coolant smoke and all the, 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 cats. the, the, the yeah, all, up the, the, cats. all the, ex the fuel, the fuel going, going out the exhaust yeah, those and backfiring. We're not good for the cats guaranteed. So yeah. I'm just glad that we're changing them or cutting them off. You know, it was either or, um, but the white pipe was really cheap. So yeah. But yeah, so this one, the other side, comes with the uh, the EGR to bolt, and what's really cool is it comes with the block off plate actually. Yeah. So uh, I don't think ours came with EGR, so we'll just leave that blocked off. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So we're just gonna exchange those studs for bolts probably, and then uh, we'll have a cool uh, cool block off plate that is already installed. Yep. And uh, the Y the Y pipe kit still at my house. It wasn't important enough to actually like bring here yet. Yeah. Um, but cool new parts for you know the truck. Yeah, we're uh, now two motors down because we got the new motor yeah. out. We sold the Mustang engine. Uh, the only one we have in here is the 5.3 and then Project F. So we're down to two motors and one transmission. Cut them in half yep. in one day. Yep, that's crazy. That is kind of crazy. Made a good uh, bit of money off the mod motor. So that's pretty yeah. good. Fun more project stuff. And uh, we would have gotten more done, but uh, I got my birthday party planned where all the friends are coming over. So we just don't have the the uh, time today to really do it. Yeah. Um, Otherwise, so we would start getting the electric harness. Yeah, we would already be plugging series. stuff in and put it putting it back in the car. But uh, I guess we will do that next week. Just just a reminder: your Mustang for sale. He yep. just lowered the price. Fifteen thousand dollars. It's yep. a smoking deal if you know what's done and done to it. And I'm gonna be making a new video. I clean it all up, so I'll be able to uh, show you guys everything. Yep, we're that. gonna do a complete video on everything that he's done: engine bay, interior, underneath the transmission, car, transmission, suspension, everything, drivetrain. And so we're gonna sh uh, show that adders. off. Um, and so we've got a few parts for. Uh, our stuff for sale as well. Turbo kit for an F body, so 98 to 02 F body uh, V6. Yep. T5 transmission, full Camaro interior, the nice, nice clean cloth interior. We have uh, yeah turbo manifolds. Uh, we have your um, you have what else do you have at home? There's something else. Oh, have. I have the Camaro wheels. I yeah. have the brand new Camaro radiator. 
Um, and I just have some uh, some random bits and bobs for like a supercharged car. Um, I'm pretty sure he's selling his intake. Are you? That's yours. Oh, that's okay. that's a Mustang. Yes. Yeah, that's a Mustang intake right there. <laughs> that's for sale too. Yeah, the whole body, all that. That's a. I think that's about it. But just in case you guys are interested, you know where to email us. It's in the description. And I think that's about it. I think that will do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not sure if there was a long video or a short video. We kind of just threw the motor in and did a bunch of time lapses, but appreciate you guys watching. If you want to join us as a member down below, that seriously helps us with our projects. You get early access to our new videos. Definitely leave a comment down below. Say happy birthday to Tristan and uh, like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.